Hey guys, and welcome back to episode three of the Noisy Trimbone Podcast. I'm Richard. What's going on, guys? That's Jesse. Um, so this time around, our audio issues hopefully are going to be a bit better. Yeah. Now, we figured out that the issue was my mic, and it turns out it was just way too good. It picks up like too much audio, which ends up kind of being a bad thing. So hopefully, we're give us some feedback again on um, this audio. But anyway, I'm jumping right into it. Jesse has a story to tell. Yeah, that's and I'm guys. super interested. I said that twice. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, <coughs> I want to apologize in advance. We're recording super late. It's like 11:30 right now. We're so exhausted. The both of us are exhausted. I just got off of work. Yeah, like an hour, like 30 minutes ago. And I, so. I just, I've been doing nothing all day, so I'm just really tired. He's just playing Valorant. That's what, Valorant and FIFA. That's what that means. Yeah, exactly. it's a nothing. But it's actually exactly what I did. It's a grind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, go ahead. Sorry. All right. Um, yeah, so last couple of weeks, we uh, well, we had la- we had the guest episode last week. Let's talk about that a little bit. We heard some feedback. We're gonna take it, to, you know, to heart. We're doing another guest episode next week. I don't think we're gonna release a guest yet, but we kind of we know who it's gonna be, and it'll yeah. be a pretty exciting time to talk with that person. Yeah. So the guest episode this past week, we uh, like Jesse was saying, we got some good feedback and some uh, constructive criticism. Yeah. We appreciate um, both. Nothing though. against Matt. We love Matt. Um, he's you know he he I didn't think, know what to expect. I think that was that was kind of what what the issue was. And most of like honest. the people just said like he 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 was really over talkative. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. That's what it was. He talked um, too much. Yeah, and then we weren't we kind of weren't uh pushing the conversation mm. as much as we should have. That uh he kind of made it into the the Matt the Matt podcast yeah. instead of Warren's. <laughs> yeah, just totally it took it over. <laughs> All right, so anyway, yeah, jump into um, it. So last week, it was um, Sam's brothers. <clears throat> both of her brothers have their birth in the same week. They're like five years apart. How many apart. siblings does she have? She has two. Oh, okay. So oh. both of her siblings are in the same week. Um, we went to Shogun, like to eat around the, the, uh, you know where they. Which one? Them. The one on um right here at Hastings Ranch. Yeah, yeah. You know how like you know they like they they throw the knives and stuff and. I love Shogun. Shogun's delicious. I just went... Anyway, sorry. I'm not going to go on no, a it is. tangent, but yeah. But, it's uh, no, it's funny because... Um, well, first of all, dude, I think it's so funny how like the chefs have to do a little like comedy bit every time they're at your table. Yeah, of course. So I was talking to Sam about how like... Like imagine showing up for your like uh, Shogun interview and you're, you're a chef and like a distinguished chef. And they're, how like, do you interview for Shogun? And they're like, yeah, so do you have like a comedy bit or like a little... <laughs> Yeah, All right. skit you we don't do. care. Yeah. We don't care if you could cook it. Can we you can make us laugh? Yeah. <laughs> can we you can, make we us can laugh? teach you how to cook, but like, <laughs> but no, dude. So, so there's a big party. So you know how there's like two girls, and they, they kind of stand in the middle, and, oh, and yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. like sit opposite of each other. Yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah, right? yep, yep, yep. So we took both sides. <clears throat> so like on our table, it was all like the younger kids, like me, Sam, her brother, um, her brother's girlfriend, um, like that stuff, like all of our age. And uh, the other table had all, like, the, the adults. Um, well, off rip, dude, our chef tries to, like, make some joke to us about um, something fucking stupid, dude. And, like, just nobody laughs at our table. And he kind of has to laugh himself, and we're like, you know, whatever. And then he goes right in for another joke, and nobody laughs again. But one of the people at our table, like, got the joke five seconds, ten seconds later, and starts cracking up. And at that point, the chef's just like, all right, you know, like, I'm done. I've had... Just started going for the food, didn't say anything to us after. It was like, all right. Yeah, like, as a chef, though, like, do you just... I'm sure they... Re- obviously, they recycle their jokes. But, you know, oh, they, they got it. There's a point where it's like, it's just not funny for them anymore. I've had chefs, though, that were, like, genuinely, like, hilarious. Yeah, they we had their own, like, on, comedy bit. We went on... What day was it? it was, I think it was before Halloween. Uh, my family went they took me out to dinner um and we had the, the chef was just like a cowboy he had he had little like toy pistols right here but he was hilarious though he was making some pretty funny jokes in but anyway i've had my sh- my fair share of like it seems like the ones that are funny make good food the ones that aren't very funny don't make very good food. Don't care, it, it, it it you can taste their it, comedy their love nah but the weird part was that the chef on the other table was like <clears throat> i don't know dude he was a weirdo uh he was like meowing like that was part of his bit. Like he acted like a cat when he was cooking. Where where was the joke in this though? Like I didn't hear the I didn't hear the punchline. <laughs> I just heard the meow. You just heard the meow. Yeah, so I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but uh, he was um. What the? And he was weird. like flirting with Sam's grandma, and oh, then like okay, and yeah. with Sam's cousin, 
It was a weird. Yeah, guys. It was a weird experience. Yeah. yeah, there's no way. No, nah, but we just thought it was funny. Like I can imagine, like pulling up to your your interview, and they're like, "All right, yeah, like last, like final step. Um, you know, like can you give us some? Yeah, like a little sketch prepared or meow. Yeah, your sister meows. Was it a good meow though? Did it actually sound like? Yeah. No, yeah. So because I heard it, he did it like four times. The first time I heard it, I was like looking around. I was like, "What the fuck?" And uh, I looked at the other table because there were like kids around too. So I was like, you know, like little kids are weird. Uh, but I heard it again, and and this time I see him doing it, like he's doing like a, like a whole cat thing. Okay. Um, and I guess that was his sketch in his interview was acting like a cat. You know, um, he got the green light. You just mentioned kids. That brings up um, something that when we went out to go eat at the, it wasn't the table next to us, but it was one like like uh, across from them. It was like two, I want to say two couples, and they had four kids with them, and they were toddlers. Okay. Now, why would you bring, you know, and like they they bought like the steak and chicken. I saw because I was looking at them because like they were annoying me. Yeah. I was like, why would you bring your kids? And they all sat in different seats. Like it yeah, took yeah, up yeah. the entire table. Did you, and did, did they sit next to you or did they sit no, no, no. on the so other table? It was another you? table. It was another table across. Like a completely other table. Yeah. Completely okay. other it wasn't table. like the one like I said, like it was connecting. Because have you been? Sorry to interrupt you. No, have no. you been mm-hmm. where they fucking put people on your own table? Yeah. yeah. And you have to sit with randoms? Yeah, with randoms. Yeah. No, no, yeah, it happens all the time because I'm yeah. only a family of four, and there's yeah. six seats, so they'll always be like oh, they'll couple put their couple yeah, right there. But no, this was a separate table across from us, so I can, I'm like I'm facing them, and they have like four toddlers with them, mm-hmm. and like they're so annoying, like they're just like screaming and like oh they're throwing stuff around, and I'm just like bro, like why would you bring your like your children here? Right. And, like that's so weird. So they got the the steak and chicken, and it's like. And they're like, oh, yeah, chicken nuggets. They're, 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 they're chicken nuggets. And I heard one of them asking for, like, ketchup. And it's uh, like, I'm like, bro, like, okay. Maybe then that's just me being, like, like kind of kind of a jerk. But, like, I was, what, why would you even bring your kids here? That's ridiculous. Like, so you hate but kids? That you no, I just oh, okay. hate toddlers. Um, okay. So I hate ages, <laughs> ages one through five, and then... That's probably not, that's ages. A, isn't that an infant? It's not a toddler. Or a toddler? No, no, like no. But, but I'm saying no. But I'm saying ages one through five are, are no. Actually, I take that back. One through five, they're pretty cute because they don't know how to talk yet. And then after that, once they can barely start talking, I don't really like children too much, like the toddler stages. And then um, once they grow up into like a preteen, though, like I, I begin to like them again. Oh, but okay. that toddler stage for sure, like I, I, I hate, I hate them. I mean, I've always told Sam like, it's crazy how like at one point in your life, like when you're first born, mm-hmm. you're the dumbest thing on the planet. I've like never at thought least of a couple I've, seconds, right? I've never thought like about that. Like you come that. out and like you're just like you can't do anything. Wow, you know I've I mean? never thought like about you, that before. You, That's you funny. You pop out and you're just stupid. Like they they have to pick you up and walk yeah. At one around. point, you're the youngest person on the planet, so yeah, right? and you're the dumbest. And the dumbest, yeah. Huh? You're you're a lot of things. You're just first. there, you're like a brick. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> What's the difference? There's no difference <laughs> except bricks can help build a house and babies can. <laughs> They're That's more the useful than a baby, yeah. right? That's actually funny. I've never thought about that that way. Yeah. That's crazy. No, I've always thought. And they're ugly too, man. Yeah. People are going to shit on me for this, I'm sure. Like parents, because my mom always tells ah, me, like, wait till you have... He can't say that. He can't say babies are ugly. That's... Wait till you have your uh, kids. No. Yeah. Dude, babies are ugly. And I'll die on that I've hill. seen some ugly babies. I'll die on the hill. Uh, I've sure. seen some ugly babies. No, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people will say and that all babies and... are... Dude, you know, I'm not trying to, like, get into that, but, like, kids, like... Like, they annoy me, man. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, but that's not me saying that, like, I'll never have kids. Well, that's a different story. No, yeah. That's, that's not at all. But, but I'm still going to think they're ugly. But other people's kids, like, drive me crazy. Yeah. But I'm sure if it was, like, my own, like, it would be a different story. Yeah. You know, completely. You'd that's, give your kids ketchup at Shogun. Yeah, of, of course. Yeah. I would always have, like, you know, some, yeah, of course, a little thing a little of ketchup. Catchy I actually really like ketchup, so I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if I had ketchup on. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine for me. But anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead. You were uh, yeah. So to a little, so last a little Slipknot story. Yeah. So last week I briefly talked on like the Slipknot thing that I was gonna bring it up. It's really quick. It's not anything crazy, but I do want to talk about. We, it was at the Bank of California. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was like really close to. I know Astro World, but that whole this was the same was a day. Long time ago. Oh, that's right. This, was, but this wasn't. No, this was the same day. Yeah. Because well, I, because it's been like two weeks since they've. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, know. when you're seeing this now, it's it's gonna be like you know a while back, but but this was the same day. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so we went. It was at the Bank of California. By the way, it's really nice. <laughs> but <laughs> funny story, when we got there, 
you could tell that <laughs> it's literally across the street from USC. Yeah. Like USC's right there. So no, because I um I went to Bank of California Stadium to watch a game. Yeah. Um, a soccer game, and I remember being on the freeway on that exit, and we were on that that exit ramp for an hour. Because like the way they Whoa. situate like the the parking and because there's so much shit around there like the Coliseum, yeah. It I don't like that area. Yeah, it was it was that. it was god awful. Um, yeah. we regret not buying parking. We didn't buy parking. Dude, we didn't either. We got fucked. We had to find we we found a parking structure that was like thirty bucks or thirty five or something, but it wasn't that bad. It was like two blocks away. It was a really big parking structure. Uh, by the way, thirty five. Bank off the, of that. Yeah, dude. I was gonna say my mom. There was said, six stories filled the cars yeah my anyway, mom always but, said dude if you want to make like money fast invest in a parking, a parking structure, structure. Yeah, yeah yeah that's crazy yeah you don't anyway. have to, nobody cleans it that shit's disgusting yeah they're horrible it's pee yeah. stains everywhere it yeah. smells disgusting yeah too. but you still park there and right? you still pay yeah. $40. <laughs> yeah, so. still, anyway so we found the parking structure we got in and there's like there's like students everywhere right so um even the parking attendants were students Right. So from USC, right? Is from USC, right? yeah, because okay. it's right there. So we went in and um, we walked all the way down to the actual stadium, and then we get in, and the people that were giving, the people that were working the event were students, you know. So okay. it, it's funny because like they didn't care, they, like you can tell like that's like when you go to like the Rose Bowl. Yeah, IB, yeah, yeah. It's like like the volunteer they're, workers. Yeah, they're volunteers. Yeah, yeah. Like you can tell. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna touch into this too because. I, so I, anyway, so we went and um, we got our tickets, whatever, and we got our wristbands. We went to we had a, a pit pit tickets, so we went down and um, it was so clearly like you could from the if you were to have bought the like the seated tickets, you can easily like hop over the fence. It was like a really tiny fence, by the way. So did they have security? Yeah, but how it was was. There is probably like fifty feet worth of fence that you can easily hop over, and then there is like a split, yeah. and then another fifty feet of fence, and in that little split was like the entrance to the pit, and there was like one attendant there that was just checking wristbands. So like if you had a, a a seated, you can just like climb down or walk down and then just like hop over the fence if you really wanted. I mean, if but anyway, I I bring that up because the the whole USC thing because my manager. Well, I'm not gonna name, obviously, but um, from Foot Locker, I told him that I went to the the Bank of California, and he was like, "Oh, I'm going to a concert there, like, in a couple days." I had already went at this time, but this is really quick because yeah, he was like, "I," he's like, "Yeah." So I ended up he ended up buying a a seated ticket, and before he was gonna just jump over, but then he was like, "Dude, like, what I ended up doing was I just went to the back to the stand where the guys were giving out the the ground." wristbands and he was just like oh like i forgot to get it before i went and then the guy yeah. like they're like students so he was just like oh okay yeah. and like he just gave him a wristband and then he's like i got like like pit access like dude that. but even that shit like that's kind of scary yeah I mean, I mean well if you look at like what happened like that's the shit that that's what yeah. happens no yeah, you know, it, people yeah are it gets where like, they're not supposed to be and then that's true that's very true um but i feel like it was it was pretty there's good some good amount of security that were handling everything um, they weren't doing too well, obviously. Like once you got in, but to get into the stadium, there was some pretty hard security. Like there were checkpoints. Like that, yeah. if you didn't have like a ticket, like you weren't getting it. Well, and like like the crowd, I'm sure. All this, I know Slipknot's like heavy metal and stuff, but I'm sure the crowd's not like, you know, Travis Scott's built on the yeah, burn it down type. The beat. rager rager yeah. thing. So um, Trashy. anyway, back to the so we one uh bypass that. So we're in the the pit, right? We're waiting and we're listening to a couple other bands or before them. They're really good, by the way. And the music starts. And then, oh, Slipknot comes on. And then, you know, we've been to, me and Ashley, by the way, we went, we've been to Slipknot concerts before. Right. So we're, we're jamming out. Um, what, what ends up happening at, you know, a heavier rock concert like that, me and Ashley end up getting lost. Like, you know, we split. Like separated from each other. Yeah, there's no chance that... There's no chance because what's really going to end up happening if I were to stick with her is like I'm going to have to like cup her because obviously I don't want anybody like smashing into her. Right. I like as long as I, I can like do something about it. So and then I'm really not going to enjoy myself. I'm just going to be like this the entire time, like trying to like yeah. protect her. Right. So, you know, what ends up kind of happening is like, hey, let's meet here like after and then like find me. I'll find you kind of thing. Right. like if we get hurt, we get hurt. You know, It is what it is. So anyway, so I'm saying that because we were split. I go into the mosh pit, 
over here and then oh my god it's awesome the vi vibe is awesome energy is awesome music is awesome I, we love the the band like they're so great so i'm in the mosh pit and i stop in the mosh pit for a second because i got tired and i'm just like standing there like you singing stopped in the middle no like not in the middle i went to the edge oh, okay like so in, i was gonna say you're stupid if you stopped in the middle no yeah yeah no okay. i wouldn't do that um so i stopped like on the edge right and you know i'm just singing my lungs out just like paying attention to that and i have no other care in the world and then like somebody for, what not like for your girlfriend that you lost no no yeah no, 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 not, not even for that so um so I go, yeah, i'm just weird. kidding it was just weird how you, <laughs> how you said that was the only <laughs> yeah so anyway yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I, i'm i'm jamming yeah. out right and i feel somebody like hit me in the back and i thought it was just the, just a pit at first but they hit me kind of extra hard so i was like oh like dang i turn around and there's a guy laying down on his back on my leg, like kind of he fell, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh damn, like he fell. So, but then this other dude, who's a big dude, he comes and he's apparently they're fighting. Oh shit. Like, and he fell because he got like he got hit and he fell down. So he's on the floor like this, like, and he's like trying to like. Well, once you like go, once you go to the ground, like. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's over. You're not winning that one. But he's like kicking and like you know he's, he's like pawing at him yeah. basically, right? And he's just like this on the ground. A dude on top of him is like like hitting him hard, yeah. and I'm literally right here, like they're on my leg, so I'm like kind of moving out the way, and then the you guy starts stomping him out. The, no, so the guy, <laughs> why would I do that? I don't even know who they are. So the guy that was like beating him up, like the, apparently like people pulled him off, right? And then he was just like, yeah, hey, like whatever. He's just talking smack. So this guy's still on the floor, and he's like with his eyes closed, kind of like this. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, bro, like so I try to pick him up, or I do pick him up. I I grab him and like we pick him up. And the guy gets up and he punches me in the face. Got him, <laughs> bro. He thought that I was the guy that was beating him up. I I'm pretty sure because he he got up and then like I was literally helping him up. He socks me in the face right here. Yeah. And it, he got me. Yeah, he got me all right. Like it wasn't that good. It got me mad and I punched him in the face and he fell again. Got him. It wasn't a fight. I mean, yeah, you can consider it a fight, but it was just like a one and done kind of thing. Like it was just like he hit me, dude. Even if I hit like, him back and he, even if you were the guy that like did punch him the first time, like that's pretty fucked. Like it, he, yeah, because like even if you were to pick him up and the dude <laughs> still knocked him, like bro, like <laughs> yeah, bro. You know he was. Mean? I like, ended up an finding asshole. out he was drunk anyway. So it because for this reason that um, so he but he punched me in the face. I got nowhere. I was literally helping the guy up. So yeah. that that was kind of messed up in itself. But so um, he fell down again and then like his girlfriend got him, I guess, and like some other people and like they took him away. <laughs> And I'm like, she's I'm just like, watching dude, her boyfriend get the fucked up, <laughs> <laughs> right? So then five minutes later, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Like he didn't even get me that good. My mouth was a little bit sore. But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so I, I'm jamming out, and then like in between songs, this girl like taps my shoulder, and I look over, and it was the guy's girlfriend that punched me. She apologized. She's like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Like he is, he's wasted. He's over here fighting people because he got hit in the mosh pit, and then he got butt hurt. Uh. Like uh, if you're in, if you're at a prideful. rock concert getting hit in the mosh pit like you don't get butt hurt like right. that's what's supposed to happen right yeah. so but she like apologized she's like I'm so sorry like well that's nice that's more than most people do no of like, course that, like I I was situation. look me I was already over it you know and then I was like I appreciate it thank you so much like I was like it's fine though like I'm I was like I'm sorry that I hit him and then she's like no 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 he deserved it and I'm like okay <laughs> like for sure. He had like a bloody nose and his whole shirt was like ripped like completely from the yeah, other guy. That's like a cool story though. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, but I thought that was pretty funny that uh yeah, no, that that happened and but the rest of the concert was like was awesome. <gasps> but then after obviously the news when I once I was going home about Travis Witten. That was god awful. Yeah. By the hey, way, well, did you hear that Travis is getting his Nike's like um Nike is like considering cutting ties with Travis. That's like yeah, a well, really I heard big that. I mean, he's just getting fucked like left and right. All his sponsors Fortnite, are taking him off. Which is like the biggest deal, obviously. Mm -hmm. Done. Um, what was that one festival? There oh, was Coachella? one in Vegas, I think, too. Recently. Probably Day like... In Vegas. Yeah, probably like Day in Vegas and like Coachella, they too. Him. It's over. All his brand deals are done. Well, like, I was And I was talking yesterday on Discord with the boys. Yeah. And it was before he got on. And he said... he Logan. We were talking to him because like... I mean, can we still listen to his music? Hmm. He asked me, obviously. You know Logan, right? <laughs> you guys meet Logan. Uh. He's like, he said, <laughs> so he was like, can I still play his music? I don't know. Like, can you? I, I don't know. Can you? That's a good question. Is it song like, 
Do, you, do they still play him on the radio? I don't listen to the radio. I'm not um, old. they play him at Foot Locker. Oh, okay. So I mean, I don't know. It's yeah, not, but it's like Foot Locker is already like the music. I already don't like you guys. Oh. No, I, I, I trust me. I don't take any offense. Yeah. There. Tomorrow's my last day. I don't by fuck the way, with Foot Locker employees. Tomorrow is my last day. So I'm like super happy. Hey, Richard got his job, everybody. Let's all give him a round of applause. Uh, we've in already the comments. We've kind of already said that, but anyway, um, Foot Locker. Did we? Tomorrow is is my last. Oh, we day did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We spoke about that with yeah. Matt. <laughs> Wait, anyway, but I already apologize for being tired, so I'm good. Super good. I get the free pass. Super good day, um, today at my job. Anyway, but that's beyond what we were talking about. But yeah, the Travis thing is is tragic. I, it's it's an ongoing like it's downhill roller coaster for him. And awful. you see that 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 kid in the in the coma ended up passing away. Yes. Rest in peace. Yeah, that's god awful. Yeah. He was brain dead. Right? Yeah. Something life support. Well, he was in a coma. He was done. Yeah. yeah so was the other guy. Or was it a girl? No, it was a girl. I don't know. I think it was a girl. I believe so. But she was brain dead for sure. Yeah. Or he. It's, sorry, but it's one of them. Um, and yeah, passed away. Yeah. Pulled the plug. Unfortunate. But, I don't know. That's what we were talking about. Like, can yeah. you still play him? If you're at a party and you cue Travis Scott, like, do you get kicked out immediately? Or do you get like a three strikes rule? That's a hard... Because... What about antidote, bro? That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? What about sicko mode? You know what I mean? Oh, but that's Travis and Drake. Well, they're both canceled. <laughs> hey, hold can, on. Can you play that? Hey, pause, pause. Now that we're talking about this, yeah. where are the people that are going to cancel Drake? Because I've been trying to cancel them. Yeah. Fucker. I hate Drake. Actually, I like, I like old Drake, not new Drake. Yeah, I don't fuck with new Drake. I don't fuck with... I don't feel that strongly about that, but <laughs> I guess well, I just, he does. I don't like him and I don't like his girlfriend either. Like, I don't like that they're together. I guess so. Millie Bobby Do you not Brown. like Loverboy? Her, him, uh, you know, it's all over. Yeah, it was I trash. To it. it was really bad. No, but how, you I know, listened to it on drop day. Horrible. Him it and, was god awful. Him and the girl from Stranger Things, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. I understand. There's a lot of ways, like reasons to cancel him, but people just want to cancel Travis instead. I just I think it it'll come around. the same cancel culture for everybody. Yeah, it should. You know, I think people like Drake a little bit more than uh, Travis. And it was Travis's stage anyway. I saw an interview where one of the people that attended it said that Travis had the loudest mic, you know, and that, that kind of speaks words to it because he did. It's his show. Oh, like his was like, louder than his guests or everybody in the well, entire... Well, just like like he as it's it's a figure like figure figure of speech like oh, he fuck. had <laughs> he had the loudest mic like he's this is his stage i thought you meant like his mic no, was already turned no. up louder <laughs> wait it, it, honestly it, it probably, probably was. was yeah Jinx. but uh no he like you know figure figure figuratively there you go one of those um he did you know this That's is his crazy. stage he could regardless of whether he, he was contracted not to stop it like for morality reasons, he should have yeah. stopped it. Yeah. Speaking of being petty, dude, like yeah. having your mic louder, I saw this thing that um, do you know about all the beef between The Rock and and Vin Diesel? No. You haven't heard any of that? Maybe I should have, but no. That shit is so funny, dude. I watched the last YouTube thing I heard about it. Rock was his uh rap beat that Thomas always. Is oh the uh, yeah, that's gonna be um, that's <laughs> probably gonna be song of the year. It's so I would horrible. Assume. Anyway, go ahead. I had no idea. Um, well, I, I guess they've just been beefing for a long time. Um, Those because, are two very random people to beef, though. Well, no, because they're on Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah, yeah I so, know, but like it pretty much stemmed from like there was obviously disagreements because you got two. The way Vin Diesel put it was like they got two alphas in the same room. But then Dwayne hit him back with it. he called him a candy ass. Like was this like on Twitter or something? Yeah, like he was uh, in an interview. Okay. He was like, but like he is was like fuck that dude. Like he's a candy ass. Is the ro- oh wait on an interview? I was gonna say yeah. is he because he's a comedian. No, he's dead ass. He meant it. Really? Yeah. But so then it was just funny because they've been beefing, and then um, for Fast Eight, all the scenes where they're together, they are filmed at a way where they're never in the frame together. I did not know this. Yeah. This is well, nice I watched a YouTube video on it because I was like, "What the fuck?" Because I thought they were homies. You know, like I felt like all actors are homies. Yeah, but of course. They never were in the same room, especially if you make eight movies together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're homies for sure. Yeah, they were never in the same room, so it was always a stunt double. If it was in the back, they were never on set at the same time. They came in on separate days, filmed their parts separately, and then they, the um, whoever was the editor put them together. I did not know this. That was that's news to me. Well, here's the funny part. So you know about being petty. All right. So they're gonna has Fast Ten come out or is that still coming out? I've never seen a Fast it. and the Furious movie in my life. I'll be honest. Whoa, yeah. Tokyo Drift is a good. One. 
That's fast. Yeah, it is fast. <laughs> yeah, Tokyo Drift two, is right? good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And Sam tells me to watch it, but you know. I, I haven't watched it probably since like seven. For me, it's like knowing that there's so many I have to watch, I don't even want to start. It's ridiculous. My right? parents went to go watch one and they said that they're in space. That was the last one, I think. Was it? Okay. Yeah, they, yeah, they said it was horrible, though. That. They yeah. said it was awful, like god awful. Well, I don't know if it's coming out or it's already come out, but Vin Diesel made this post on Instagram, you know, calling out Dwayne, pretty much saying, like, like we need you back, like, for Fast 10. You're my brother. Like, the kids in my house, they call you Uncle Dwayne. Like, shit, like really <laughs> corny shit. But here's the best part. Ready, bro? <laughs> the picture he posted was a was a frame from one of the Fast movies yeah. where they're, like, like looking, like, locked uh, hands looking at each other. Mm-hmm. Vin Diesel edited himself to make his head and his hands bigger than Dwayne's head so that on Instagram it looked like he was bigger. Yeah. Okay, but And when you look at the the request from the actors when they were filming, the requests were when they were fighting each other in the scenes, mm-hmm. they literally wrote in their contract that neither actor had more punches on the other one. So right. in the fight scene, if you count the fight scene, they both had an equal amount of punches landed on each other. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Because cool. they couldn't agree on who gets to win. So they said they're okay. only going to be in the fight scene if the fight the punches are equal and nobody wins. Okay. Yeah. So then Vin Diesel posts this, like, heartfelt, like, I want oh you back. Oh, my God. Dude edits his head a little bit. So That's he has a little so fat stupid. Head, and his That's hands so a little stupid. bigger. Dude, I was dying. When was this? Is this recent? I don't know when the post was, but the, I just saw the video. I don't know how I didn't hear about ago. this. I didn't either. I, maybe it's because we aren't fans of, of Fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Fo- I don't follow it. Like, I'm a yeah. fan of The Rock, though. Yeah, The Rock is hilarious. Yeah. I just saw. Um, Where's it go? The Red. Red Room Notice. Red Notice. The Red Red Notice. Right. It was really funny. You oh, you watch watched it? On, you watch watch it? Yeah, I thought we actually watched it yesterday. Oh, I just saw the trailer. It's really funny. You I talked with Ryan Reynolds it. too. That's why. It's hilarious. Yeah. No, oh, I God, saw. I love fuck! I just saw something about that where he. Well, he did, like, he's on TikTok now. Yeah. He does, like, AMAs and stuff. Oh, wait. Okay, like, he, like, that. reads tweets about it, and he was, you know, he's just funny. Yeah, The Rock is awesome. And you also hear that he's gonna, he might run for president? If he does, you know, he has he one vote. Yeah. Oh, he has two votes. Yeah. There you go. Um, they, they interviewed him, like, asking him about if he ever thought about it. And uh, he said something to the extent of, like, I don't know politics, but I'm an American. That's good enough to be a governor, yeah, at least. Well, Arnold. Hey, I mean, look at the uh, look at our last president, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess anybody could do it, right? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty could sure do I could do it too. Yeah. So I thought anyway, it was kind of cool for this. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna cut it. You yeah, know, you guys again, heard last time our camera only records thirty. Yeah, you know, it's you know our our equipment right now isn't the most professional, but we're we're dealing with what we got. So uh, we're gonna do our little cut here. We'll be back right now, and we're back. What's up, guys? Hopefully that, that cut is flawless in the editing. That clo- that yeah, if it's it not, will be. You should on an editor. I mean, yep. You know, yep, he yep, needs yep. a lot more work. All right. So where were we? Uh, uh yeah. And we had one more story. Oh. Oh no, but we. Can, I was just saying we left off at the rock. And yeah. Then go ahead. We're just gonna switch topics. Yeah, it's because we already. I figured we already like shit on one group of people. Yeah. The babies. So <laughs> I have my next. <laughs> My next <laughs> group of people that okay. I want to say I hate. Oh yeah, there we go. The, I don't hate. Polar, that's a strong polar word. opposites. That, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Well, this might be funny coming from me, but like, white people in general, especially in the area I live, I don't know. I don't fuck with them. Wow, that's a bold statement. And this is why. Ready? So Can you yesterday? say that? I don't I think, think so. I think, <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> well, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, me, not so much. But uh, go ahead. Uh, we were moving my grandma out of her apartment yesterday. So we had like the U-Haul in the front and we had the back open. Like, you know, the big U-Haul trucks, we had the back open. And from like 2 to 5 p.m., we're just like loading stuff in because we had one day to take everything from her old apartment and put it right into her new apartment. Where does she live? She lives like, she lived five minutes from us and she moved seven minutes from us. So it was down the block. Bastard. Yeah. Yeah. And she was being, you know, difficult, but that'll, that, that'll come later. So... <laughs> You know, it was like three minutes to move everything in. I mean, three minutes, three hours. And then three hours when we got there, we got it all out. So it was like a six-hour day. Did your brothers help you? Well, Max is gone. And you guys will yeah. be my brothers. I'm sure that I think they're going to come on for an episode this Yeah, uh, not to, not to, not to uh, go on a tangent, but the only way we're getting 
one of his brothers on here is if we have both. Yeah, there is no other way that we're doing the both single. Oh no way! I gonna, can't do it. Yeah, I you know, know. be kind of cool. Now that I think about it, I am gonna keep going on this tangent. No, um, good. what if they recorded at my house, and we recorded here? Okay. And we did. We were all in Discord, and we did like okay. a little. Because I feel like if we have four people on this setup, yeah, with our equipment right now, it's gonna be kind of scuffed. Yeah, we'll be. You're right. Well, when does your when does Max come back? Max comes back this Max, weekend. Max, I hate you, by the way. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he comes back. <laughs> he comes back this weekend for Thanksgiving. Okay, but then he goes back and then he comes back again for Christmas. I think. You know, ever since Max left, uh, my life's been a little bit easier. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, back not to, to the off that tangent, go dude. Ahead. It's just like every time somebody would walk by. They just immediately like right into the back of the U-Haul, and I'm like, "What do you think we're doing with the U-Haul? You know, like what? Moving what else are bodies. we gonna fucking do? Moving you know? dead bodies." And every person, you know, walking the dog, walking, taking their kids home from just back in, you know, yeah. And I, you know, it's not a big deal, but I'm just like, "Fuck," you know, You're like. What does your grandmother have that people would? Right. <laughs> That's what. Like, I was like, "What's the, like? What's? It's none of your business," you know. No, but then, um, so we're moving like a, a heavy bed, me and me and Miguel, which is my other brother, and we have to take it out of the front of her apartment, and there's like three flights of like four steps, right? So it's like four steps down, four steps down, four steps down, four mm-hmm. steps down, and there's this old lady sitting on the, the one of the steps, just sitting there like, I think she's coloring. Cause it's like there's like some it was mostly elderly people in the, in the where she lived in the apartment building, and she's just coloring and so we're like we have this thing in our hands like like trying to carry it down it's heavy as fuck and she's like hey, excuse me like what are you guys doing? I was like oh god, <laughs> and we were like um fuck. you know moving to bed right now. <laughs> just look at us. Yeah, here. you can see. I mean it's not like you don't have to read between the lines. Yeah, know? and um. I was like, oh, we're moving our grandma out. And she goes, oh, who, um, what's your grandma's name? And uh, my grandma's name is Jesus, right? Like Jesus. So I tell her and she goes, oh, you, so you mean your grandpa? Yeah. And I was like, no, my grandma. She's like, no, well, that, you, that's not her name. Like she can't she be named that. She was meaning Karen? Yeah. Oh my God. And I was like, and I was like, no, it's my grandma. And she's like, oh, um, Okay. Yeah, and that was it. Just woke up and chose violence that yeah. day, right? And I was like, "Dad, you know what? She was white." So my gripe was with old white people today, as well as babies. The patience that you gotta have for older people, I've learned, um, is far more than any other age group. Than babies, even than babies. Yeah. Um, I learned this from working at Foot Locker. Believe it or not, at my first store that I was at in Arcadia. We got a lot of like older people that would come in and my goodness, like, you know, it's hard to teach. Like, I'm not just talking about, I'm not talking about like older people, but I'm talking about like old people, like in their like, like eighties. Like seniors. Like, yeah. Like, like, but like genuine seniors, not like. Like 75 plus we're talking. Yeah, of course. Like, like they get the, they get the IHOP senior menu. Yeah, of course. You know, um. Yeah, and I don't blame them because, you know, once we, we get that old, it's going to be the same thing. You know, we're going to be kind of hard headed, I feel like, I unless maybe not. Far. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be like that either, <laughs> you know, but um, older style people like they're just very hard. to even me trying to explain like about shoes to them, it's like talking to a brick wall. And I mean that in like the nicest way. Uh, it, it's the patience that it requires to. To talk and to why the fuck are old people going to Foot Locker? Believe it or not, a lot, um, because the Asics is it for the no, Asics? Yeah, a lot of times, for the white Asics. A lot of times, believe it or not, uh, we have we would come older people would come in and they would say like, hey, like you know, my doctor says that I have issues with my back and they said that I need you know a back pair support, of white Asics. back support issues like shoes that would support that like you know, and yeah, a lot of times like Asics like. Yep. And I'm not gonna go nerd off and be a and name a bunch of shoes that would, you know. But yeah, Asics tend to make the most supportive like back support issues. 
Yeah, wasn't like that shoes. the like the meme? You know? Yeah, the, no, of the course. The chunky white Asics. It, it's 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 a meme because it's true. That's the funniest part. But anyway, um, I learned that I had to have a much much like higher patience tolerance with older folks. Definitely, obviously, in like bilingual people that I have no idea what they're saying. Even more than that. Do you get that? Do you speak Spanish? I, I'm not fluent. I can speak chunks, but like very extremely little. Um, a lot of times I just say I don't because I don't. I really don't. It's easier. I can understand like 75% of if someone speaks to me in Spanish. Yeah. Like my mom speaks to me in Spanish and like I'll respond to her in English. Yeah. My, but I know exactly what she's saying. My grandma do that too. I know exactly what she's saying. Yeah. Like even if my grandma talks to me in like Spanish, um, because Spanish is her first language, so mm-hmm. she, I, I understand exactly what she's saying. But I'll just respond to her in English. That's what I do. Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't really speak it, though. No. Yeah, Not okay. fluently. I was just wondering. But yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so... I didn't think, like, Foot Locker would be the, the go-to spot for the elderly. It isn't. I didn't know that you got their own shoes. I thought somebody just bought them for them. Majority of the time it is because we will get, like, maybe, like, their son or daughter coming. Hey, you know, my mom is... Right. This issue is the kind of shoes that we need to buy for her, but... um. No, but we do have those like stragglers that'll come in, like literally, like they look like they're struggling to walk. And you, you said the strugglers? Is that what you call them? No, strugglers. <laughs> <laughs> Not strugglers, but um, yeah, we do. We do get them in, and it, it's a high patience tolerance again. But I don't want to keep going in circles about that. Yeah, but that's that's besides. No, no, me. I get what you're saying. No, but I was just yeah. yeah. Back to you were saying about your your uh, Karen Karen grandma grandma experience. She just pissed me off. So was your grandma while you were moving the stuff like just morally supporting everything well, on the sidelines? I wouldn't say that. If anything, it was just like I don't know, dude. Talk about patience, man. As soon as the <laughs> as soon as that last box got unloaded, I was like, <laughs> I didn't even wait to say. I didn't wait to walk her in. I was like, I'm going home. I can't. <laughs> you were because, angry. Oh, I was pissed. Well, so we're taking we're unloading. So I spent three hours putting everything on the truck. And it's just me and Miguel. So, like, the fridge, the couch, the, you know, the dresser, the bed, everything that goes in, we got to take it right back out, you know. So, we're unloading stuff. And this it's already, like, 7, 8 o'clock at this point at my grandma's new place. And, like, the whole time she's sitting in the lobby. And every time we walk by her, she's like, oh, like, are you guys almost done? Like, oh, you guys are taking forever. And I was like, there's no way. Yeah. There's no way she was doing I was like, that. Hey, woo. So I was like, oh, oh hey, you, you know, I, I've heard that if you're going to move, it's, you know, it, it, it costs, but hiring movers is actually like extremely useful. The funny thing is, the entire time in my head, I'm thinking, how much should I have to pay to get somebody to do this for me? Yeah, because of like even the struggles life. that you're talking about. Well, my I've back heard... is fucked. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> like, it hurts nah, so bad, dude. But. You know, whatever. You know, I've done. definitely heard from multiple people that like hiring movers, like, yeah, it's gonna cost money, but it's worth it, like a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean you can get like a couple macho men in your family and like try to move well, it, but you know, then they're gonna be call it. they're gonna be complaining about it like Jesse is, so and I'll continue I mean, to complain it, about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I bet. I, I mean I wouldn't But no, it's just yeah, I was that was my gripe, is that like they're nosy and then I just I didn't get it. She was like trying to tell me who my grandma was and I was like, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean you know. Is what it is. The elderly. Obviously, she oh. had nothing else to do, right? Well, she was coloring in their front. Yeah, so she had nothing else to do. Yeah. So playing bingo and the thing is, it's not By really herself. much to do, yeah. right? Yeah, so. exactly. So, anyway. So, um, let me talk about something that just happened just right now when I got home. Again, like I said, I, I wasn't got home, here yet. I got home like maybe 30, 45 minutes ago from work. And on my way home, coming off of the, the the 210 to Orange Grove I'm getting off damn and, you just leaked you just oh leaked God, your home exit damn we, we, uh, we, bro we're right here bro it's, it's fine no I, we're not we're not right here we're right, right here, here. It's, it's I'm not right here yeah no this is Jesse's house no, we're right not. here <laughs> anyway bro just so. DDoSed himself that's crazy <laughs> Or is we're it fine. Docs? You just docs yourself. we're fine we're, it, it, the, the 210 right so just give and, me your address at this point uh, we're getting off I'm getting off and I see a black like truck pass by me, and it was going mad slow, like really slow, like it was super obvious because I'm on the freeway, like you can tell. But I was getting off, um, so I was going slow too. So I noticed it, and I see a helicopter super low, like kind of right above it, and the light was shining directly on it, 
like directly and i was like oh my god like it's it's a high speed chase well a slow speed yeah, chase yeah. right uh, high speed huh so um immediately i called my dad because i thought he was home from work and i was like hey turn the news on uh like see if there's like a high speed chase i just passed it you know like they literally were right here yeah uh so he wasn't even home though so i get home and we turn the news on and lo and behold like 10 minutes later they're freaking they were all the way your at, car? Oh. at dodger stadium no they were at, by dodger stadium by oh. then um and it's not that far it's not super far but but it it was they had made some distance already but by then <laughs> they were all the way over there and i was like yes that's the truck that i saw like that that was it right there and you know they're still oh he they started speeding up by the way so then it was going like oh, 80 90 so they're just trying now to it was a, the... yeah it was a high-speed chase by the, at this point now and they started so we're watching you know me my mom my dad and then ashley comes she's in there so we're all watching like we're going interested boom slams into the back of an 18 wheeler bro damn at 85 so he's done it was a girl it was live on it was live it uh, was a girl the newscaster was like oh <laughs> bro i swear i was talking to my dad all he hear was oh my god <laughs> like and I was, we were like oh what, what happened but, the yeah, we're like what happened and like they show it and they replay it like three times like, the slow-mo <laughs> slow-mo <laughs> yeah but, like she they smashes. reversed it on the tv so it's just going like this <laughs> That's she smashes. Or I mean, I don't mean to laugh at this because it was pretty dark. That's what I said. Yeah, that it's fun. it's pretty dark, but she smashes into the back of a truck and then she kind of ve- veers off into the 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 medium, right? Damn, she's still going. Yeah. So, or but was it the, the entire <laughs> no, nah, bro. Oh, I was gonna make a joke, but I won't. Don't, bro. It's, I'm gonna make it. it. Okay, it's yeah. like it's like when GTA. <laughs> when you, <laughs> you can't. You can't do. That. Okay, go ahead. Oh fuck! It's like in GTA when you hit the back of the car and then the dude the dude slumps <laughs> over in the car. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. That's how this vision, bro. <laughs> Homie slumped and then just the car. My bad. I'm sorry. That that's not funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That's I like funny. that one. <laughs> that's not funny. Um. So where was I? So she smashes into it, um, hits the medium. The entire like front, past the engine, like basically to, Damn. basically to the steering wheel was foiled. smashed. Yeah. yeah, it was destroyed, and there's like smoke coming out of the out of the truck, and it's like, it it, it looks awful. Yeah, and we notice that the cops stopped behind her. There's like four cop cars, probably like fifty feet away. Get out of their car and then have their guns pointed at the car, <laughs> like just in case, right? <laughs> <laughs> just in case she's alive but has only yeah. one arm working by yeah. then and decides to shoot them, right? Yeah. So me and my dad were like, "What are they doing, like, bro? <laughs> why is she not getting medical attention?" Like, I understand that, you know, and I understand that you know they need to be precautious. But if I would have seen someone smash into a car like that, like, there's no way that they're conscious right now. There's no yeah. way. So it took about um, it took about like ten minutes. For like the cops, to act, like for like they're just like stare, like pointing their gun in case they decide to come out. Right, took about ten minutes of that, like just a, a, a standoff mm-hmm. before they actually got to the car. Right, so here's the worst part. And this is live, by the way. They showed everything. They opened the door and yeah. like they they went in. They grabbed her. This is all on TV. This is on live TV. Can they, they do that? They grab her. Well, I guess Bro, they can. She was unconscious. Right. They drag her well, out of the car. Probably more than that, but she, she they drag her out of the car. She like hits the ground, and then they're just like continuously dragging her body. Damn. On live TV, and I'm like, oh my god, is she dead? You know? Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that there was like a pulse because they started doing CPR on her, like right there. But the camera's oh. just like right there, like <laughs> this is live TV, like it's like the school bathroom fights. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, homie just posted in the back. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, just just like this. It's on live TV and the newscasters are like, "Oh my gosh, like, this is awful." <laughs> yeah, why are you showing this? Yeah. Like, I don't as, think as they're commenting on it, this is like literally happening right now. I don't know if she's dead or not. Um, after this, I'm gonna go ask. We'll find out. But, we'll let uh, you guys know next week. I'll probably put a little caption right here saying she's dead or she's not dead. That's right? fucked. We had to at, we at had this to point get, just so you guys know. We so have to go to the next bit. We can't do this anymore. Yeah, we can't do this anymore. But uh, I, I just want to say that say, because that just happened right now. I have a funny. I have a one song funny. I have a cop story, a personal cop story. Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck. 
two years ago, three years ago, I was driving home. I'll talk about my DUI after this, but go ahead. What? Yeah, huh? go ahead. I was driving home. Um, no way. You work for the city. No way you have a Bro, fucking DUI. Bro, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, driving back home from, from UCLA. Uh, and my family had just bought a new car, so we had no plates. You know, it just had, like, the, the new car logo. And I'll be honest, like, it was pretty late. I was tired. I was texting. Um, but I was in the slow lane on the 405 heading home. I didn't think it was a big deal. Like, there weren't many cars. I was chilling. Um, you know, had my phone. I was going, <laughs> I was going, like, 40. And, like, you know, it was, like, 65. And there's just car tailgating me. And I couldn't see because, like, some of the, like, the lights were so big. And I was like, what the fuck? Well, it's a cop. So the lights go on. They pull me off the the uh, freeway, and I've never been pulled over before. I've had the cops question me and stuff, but I've never been pulled over in my car. Um, so they pull me off, and they're like, "Oh, uh, they have the fucking this loudspeaker, you know? They're like, keep your hands on your your steering wheel. Like wow. we're gonna check your car. Mm. Like don't move your hands. Don't move your hands. So you know, I'm like, okay, fine. Like, I wait, where my- where was this? Like, what city? Here. No, it was actually near um uh where do you work? What's the city you work in? Right now? No, you just Arcadia? No. Sherman Oaks? Yeah. It was in between Sherman Oaks and Westwood. Oh, okay. You know there's like a stretch of freeway right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right there. I pulled out. I hate that freeway the by mountains. the way. Yeah, that yeah, shit sucks. And, you know, sure enough, I'm like, I have my hands, I'm like freaking out, obviously, because I was like I'm four years younger at the time and I was like, you know, shitting myself. Dude, they pull up to the side of the car, flashlight in one hand and gun in the other. What time was it? It was late. It was like 12, 1. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, and they have one on each side. They have the flashlight like this, and they have the gun like this. And they, I forget what the order was, but they're, you know, flashing my windows, making sure, nothing, like, I guess nobody's in the car with me or whatever. Um, so, and then, you know, they come over to me, and they got the gun on me, and I'm like, oh, my God, dude. And uh, they asked me, have I been drinking? I was like, no. And I haven't, like I didn't, because I knew I had to drive home. Um, uh, they asked me like if I if if I sold a car, and she it was a girl cop, and she was super serious, like very like like where are you going? Like why is your car new? Why don't you have license plates? And I'm trying to explain everything. Um, and it, you know, all of a sudden out of nowhere, she's like, "Yeah, all right. Um, you know how to get back on the freeway?" And I'm like, "I was like, yeah, yeah I think so." And she's like, "All right, yeah, have a good night," and they just walk away. Were they wait? Were they looking for somebody? Maybe maybe they were looking for somebody and they thought the car was a description and then. Well, I thought it was like they they probably thought I stole it, because it's a brand new car. But then they saw. They saw your face. Well, I'm just like. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, you yeah. Were, like, super nervous. Yeah, and they were like, um, they didn't even. I think they asked for my license, but I don't know if they even like checked anything else. They were super like, but they she was super like hard ass like gun, and the dude on the other side of the window also has the same thing. So I'm like, dude, like holy shit, like what did I do, and. She's like, yeah, like, you know where you're getting pulled over? And I was like, no, like, I have no idea. And she ends and she's just like, yeah, so, like, do you know how to, like, get back on the freeway? And I was like, yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, you know, hey, take care. Have a good night. And I was like, just like that. Yeah. And I was like, whew. So they pull off. Dude, I'm just in my car for, like, five minutes, dude. I'm just like. Freaking out? Yeah, like, just done. <laughs> just I was like, exactly. holy shit. I don't want to drive anymore. Yeah, bro, I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. I was scared, bro. No, yeah, yeah, no, I get you. Um. Going off what I was saying earlier, but I mean, I, you bring up a good point. I do work for the county now, so I'm not going to talk about the DUI story. Right. That That's why it. you're not going to talk about it. No, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's self-incriminating, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I will talk about this time that I did get pulled over for speeding. Um, I was I was on my way to school in uh, Northridge, and uh, it was on 118 going. And if anybody has ever driven on that freeway at like 8 in the morning, it is like, like completely open. It's like a, it's like a, eight laner by the way, yeah. Or six? No, it's not not that much, but probably like six lanes yeah. for sure. So it's a really one, a really wide freeway. I don't think and I've ever was, even been on that freeway in my life. I I hope you never have to because I don't it's know why I ever go up there. Yeah, there's or no down reason. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it's, know where just... it's yeah, it's up. Um, there there's no reason to because it, that freeway is horrible. The 118. It, it, oh God, it's it's horrible. I hate how people drive. Can't be worse anyway. than the five, dude. And. It, it can't be worse than a 110. True. That's, no, I think the five. I hate the five. What? I will take the five 
over the anybody listening that not from California is like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck are they talking about? If you're not from Southern California, they're like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the five. We're speaking like 210, one yeah. side or the yeah, it's, yeah, whatever. Anyway, but uh, where, where was I? Okay, so I was in the 118. I was going like 80, but I didn't realize it because the freeway is so open. You know what's funny is that like, that's not even that bad. It isn't. Because sometimes I'm flying down the 210 and everybody's going 80. Yeah, 80 is the is the flow of traffic. Yeah, like if you go 70 yeah. or 60, you're going to get hit. Like you're going to Yeah, get 100%. Up. I mean, if if Which you're is- from anywhere like the area that we're from in like California, if you go the speed limit, like you're going too slow. That's just yeah. how it is. 65 is too slow. Mhm. Um flow of traffic is easily 75 80, 80 yeah. plus. If you're in the fast lane, it's 80 going plus. like 90. Yeah. 80 90 like if, uh Have you ever driven lanes? the the carpool lane on the 134? Oh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That one, that was crazy. <laughs> Everybody's flying down that thing, dude. And the funniest part is that it's just like, eh, you know, it's regular. And if you're not going that fast, you're just, yeah, they're gonna get pissed off. You know, and yeah, exactly. And you wonder why, like, we road rage just because you're going too slow. Yeah, that's really that's what honesty, it is most of the time. Yeah, it's it's anyway. So that's back me. to back to what I was saying. Um, I was only going like 80, but I didn't realize it because, it, it, have you ever driven on like a super long stretch of road that's just open and like. You don't realize, but you're like going pretty fast, but yeah. it's just like, it's just a super long stretch of road. So I didn't realize that I was going that fast. Now I saw a cop in front of me and so he started slowing down. Like we all know, like oh, he was fuck? going 80 as well. Like he was going the same speed as me. So I was just like flowing with him. Like, I'm just like, okay, nah, like, see, you know, we're flowing. If I see a cop and I'm going the same, it's just instinctual. I slow down. Yeah, I always no, make sure I'm going slower. Usually, than the cop. usually I would have. But I noticed that the cop was going. I didn't was not looking at my speedometer at all. I was just like gauging with like my eyes, like, yeah, we're going about the same, like, easily. So, yeah. anyway, so we did. We I'm going, and then we're going like for about a mile, and the cop kind of pulls over in front of me because he was in the left lane. Goes in front of me, and then kind of slows down a bit, and then I slow down, and then he goes to my right side, and then he starts speeding up a bit, and then like. So did I, because I'm just like, it was only the two of us in the freeway. What an idiot. Right? So. No, you. Yeah, I know. I know. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. Bro. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm dumb. Yeah, Why I know. would you do that? Because, like, no, I, I didn't speed up to pass him. Like, I, I sped up because he was speeding up. Like, Bro, he like, that was a straight bait. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. So, so which I ended up finding out. Um, Fuck. Oh. Another, like, mile, two miles passes, and, like, we're still kind of steadily going. And then he turns his lights on. And I'm like, I'm like, oh damn, you got somebody. You know, but I'm like, wait, who? <laughs> like, no, got one's him. <laughs> no one's <laughs> on the freeway. And then he like immediately like slowed down behind me, and then he like pulled over behind me. And what then an asshole! I'm like, I'm like, oh damn, you know, okay, it was me. So we pull over, and gets out of his car, side of the freeway, and he pulls up to my window. It was only one guy. Um, and he's like banging on the window and I put it down. I'm like, I'm like, hey, how's it going? He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, I'm on my way to school, you know? And he's like, he's like, do you know how fast you're going? And I was like, oh, I was, I was like, honestly. And I was just being completely honest with him. I wasn't going to like lie to him and say like, yeah, I was going like 65. Yeah. I was like, I completely honest. It was open road. Like I was just going as fast as you were. Like I was just like, and then he was like, I was going 80. So you were going as fast as I was. And I was like. Yeah, I mean, if that's how fast you were going, yeah. then yeah, I was going about 80. Mm-hmm. And he's like, that's like, do you know what speed limit is? And I was like, yeah, it's 65. He was trying to be like a jerk, but I was I was in the wrong for sure. Like, you know, I was being dumb um, about that. So, but I wasn't being a jerk back to him. I was just like, yeah, I understand. Like, I'm sorry. Um, and then he's like, he's like, give me your license. And then I did. I guess he found out. Uh, um, but this was, this happened before the DUI thing. So he didn't see my DUI, but um uh, he came back and then he saw that there's like nothing on my record yeah. so and then and then i had like my my books literally in the passenger seat so then he you know he kind of realized that i wasn't lying to him and then you um, hit him with like i'm late to class no i didn't hit him with that or anything i should have yeah. but i was just like i think he saw because he was like because he told me he was like you know what like this time i'm gonna let you off like w- with like a warning okay he was like just sure. slow down he's like i don't want, i i see like i see your books here you know i don't want you like Aside from paying for tuition, like all that money for tuition, I don't want you to pay <laughs> a speeding fucked. ticket too. No, but at fucked. the end, at the end, he was, I he mean, was, it's nice, but like he was kind of nice about it. You know, he's like, I don't want you paying paying for like a speeding ticket on the fucking, side. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. And I was just like, oh man, I appreciate that so much. He's like, like yeah, well, I didn't go to school, you know. Yeah, yeah. exactly, right. So, uh, 
But yeah, that was my uh um and then after that he just left. Yeah, see, I got so that's the only time. But I was, I was super nervous. My hands were sweating, like I was shaking. Bro, how do you think I felt? Dude, they had a fucking gun. They had a car yeah. gun. They had the flashlight on the gun. Like, yeah, you were, you were, you were gonna die. Yeah. No, but I actually, I got pulled over one more time. I'm gonna make this quick. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Real quick. Uh, I was going down. It was a Friday night, and I'm going from UCLA to um, Rosemead. And if anybody like is from this area, you know, like 6 p.m. down the 10. To like, you're fine. All the no. Oh, you're not fine. Traffic. So much traffic, okay. bro. Friday night, like uh, it was like six o'clock at the end of my class, and I dipped. It was like prime time, like people going to LA, people trying to leave LA. So I was on the freeway. I swear for two hours, and I was on my way to meet my mom and Sam for dinner. And we we're going to this restaurant that I'd never been to, so I was trying to um, look up the directions on my phone as I was driving. So I'm like an hour and 45 minutes into my drive through traffic. Like I'm pissed off and I'm checking to see like how far um, the restaurant still is. And if my mom has gone there, cause she's like kind of texting me. <clears throat> and then there's this car next to me cause they're going to merge onto the freeway. And I'm like, bro, like why is this dude so fucking close to me? Well, I look up and it's a cop <laughs> and this course. dude's just staring at me and I'm like, <laughs> on your phone. Yeah. So oh, I'm like, ah. Yeah. So the lights go on or whatever. And I'm like, fuck. He pulls up next to me. I have my and I have my backpack too, and I hit him with the. I'm like, dude, I just got I got to the school two hours ago, and I'm meeting my mom for dinner. Like, I'm looking up directions. I can show you my phone. I literally told him this. I was like, I'm a student. Like, I'm trying to meet my mom for dinner. This dude's like, oh yeah yeah. Like, I understand, man. Like, I'll be right back. He comes back with a fucking ticket. You got a ticket for me? I got a phone? ticket. Oh my god. He's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, dude, I understand. I just don't worry about it. And then he comes back. He's like. Well, I'm still going to have to write you up, man. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> we, you're not getting off of this one, man. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm still going to have to write you up, though. I was yeah, like, I get, yeah. We're, we're, get we're cool, but like... <laughs> yeah. I was like okay. You're good, but uh, yeah. But yeah, so I was like, nice. Thanks, bro. But uh, All right, my... we're going to have to make this uh, outro extremely Real fast. quick. Okay, real quick. Um, Thank you guys for, for listening in to episode three. Feedback, please, in the comments. Um, Again, all socials are going to be in the comments. Uh, or not show comments, or, sorry, hey, description. Show our TikTok some love. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok's week. been blowing up man, been a blowing. little bit. Yeah, come on. I mean, you know, for for us being brand new, you know, it's been it's been doing well. So uh, appreciate everything. Thanks, guys. Yeah, um, I'm building a website for us, so that's gonna be up soon. If you guys have any like questions or anything, you can like, there's gonna be a contact page. That's and then again, good. all of our updates. I've been posting updates on Twitter yeah. like, when episodes are gonna drop and shit. So, but yeah, follow our Twitter, follow our TikTok, stay updated. Thanks for listening. Sorry for the fast ending, but thank you guys. Uh, See you next week. See you next week with a new guest. Bye-bye.